The St. Louis Cardinals and New York Yankees just played in one of the best series of baseball so far this season. The series was filled with so many high intensity moments, bad umpiring, even heartfelt scenes, and ultimately just really great baseball. To start the first game of the series, Matt Carpenter made his return to St. Louis for the first time since becoming a New York Yankee. The Yankees would score the first run of the series on a Josh Donaldson double, then an inning later, Yachty would get the run back with a single through center off Nestor Cortez. The next inning, Josh Donaldson would single in his second run of the game. Fast forward to the top of the fifth, Glaber Torres would get an infield single to score Judge to increase the Yankees' lead to two. The Cardinals would come back and bring it within one with a Tyler O'Neill RBI single in the bottom of the sixth. Then, in the top of the eighth, Lars Newtbar would have a catch of the year candidate play in right field to rob Donaldson of his third hit of the game. In the bottom half of the eighth, Paul DeYoung would hit a double into the right field corner off Clay Holmes, which would score two runs, giving Cardinals the lead and ultimately setting up the save opportunity for Ryan Helsley. So, to end the first game of the series with a Cardinals win, 4 to 3. The second game wasn't as high scoring as the first, but was still a great game as Jordan Montgomery would be making his first start for the Cardinals versus former team. Arenado would single in Goldschmidt to put the Cardinal lead at 1-0. The rest of this match would be a rubber match as this would be the only run scored. Montgomery goes 5 and only allows 2 hits and he got helped by his defense including another play of the year candidate from Nolan Arenado as he makes one of the best throws of the season to save a hit. Domingo Armand was also very good as he went 5 and then got helped out by newly acquired Louis Trevino and Aroldis Chapman. Jordan Hicks came in for the Cardinals and pitched well in his inning in a third, and then Henesis Cabrera would come in and was nails, but he also got helped by Newt Barr once again making another diving catch in right field. Gallegos would enter the game and get a 1-2-3 inning to give the Cardinals a series win behind a 1-0 victory. The last game of the series would make up for the lack of scoring in the second game as Carpenter would get the party started in the first as he would hit a sacrifice fly to right to score DJ LeMahieu. The Cardinals would respond in the bottom half of the inning with an Arenado single that would score two runs. The Yankees would strike back as Hicks would single in Glaber Torres. The scoring one stop there though as Judge would single in Benatendi and Hicks, making the Yankees lead 4-1. In the bottom half, Carlson would double in DeYoung followed by a Paul Goldschmidt sacrifice fly and then Nolan Arenado would hit a three-run shot to left field, making it a 6-4 Cardinals lead. Aaron Judge and the Yankees would come back in the top of the fifth though as Judge doubles in Benintendi and Hicks to tie the game. The Cardinals wouldn't settle although as in the bottom of the fifth the Young clutches up once again and doubles in Lars Newtbar followed by a Tommy Edmond hit in the center that would score to Young. Followed by a few walks including a bases loaded walk by Paul Goldschmidt to make the lead 9-6. The Yankees would make the game closer as in the top of the sixth Jose Trevino would single in Josh Donaldson followed by a Marwin Gonzalez fielder's choice to make the game 9-8. Then Paul DeYoung strikes again as he hits a 3-run homer into Big Mac land to give Ryan Helsley some insurance making it a 12-8 lead going into the ninth. Ryan Helsley would give up a homer to DJ LeMahieu but it would prove to be for nothing as the Cardinals wrap up the series sweep and win their 7th straight game. Like I said in my Cardinals video, this team has tons of potential and they are showing it as of late and they aren't even fully healthy. And once again, they're stringing some wins together just like they have in previous years. As for the Yankees, the second half hasn't been as nice for them and they look to figure some things out come playoff time. This series was jam packed with action and it was very exciting to watch. So if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.